You watching daytime tea time with Candace. Daytime tea time. Daytime tea time. No way. Only I can eat your breasts and that's totally true. Daytime tea time. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Candace. All right, you see that title, so you already know we're about to talk about The Real, specifically Miss Lonnie Love. Y'all, Lonnie Love was on The Real today spilling all of her own tea. The ladies asked Lonnie what famous comedians has she done it with, and Lonnie didn't want to tell us at first, so she basically said she wanted fans to write in and ask, and if they guessed the right comedian, she would answer yes. So they guessed the obvious people, like, Kevin Hart, JB Smooth, and she said no. And then when they got to Cat Williams, she started blushing and laughing and giggling, and that let everybody know that Lonnie Love and Cat Williams got it on before. Doing a nasty, getting all freaky. Okay, we got Cat Williams. Okay, up, uh, up. Uh. Y'all, when she said Cat Williams, I was dying laughing. Picturing his little body and her big body together. Y'all, if that ain't strange love, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, let me stop being messy. But seriously, y'all, he's so little. He's a small person. Like, how does that fit together? Let me get nasty for a second. But I know she wasn't on top. He had to be on top. Can you just picture Lottie Love on top of Cat Williams? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That don't go. That don't go. But anyway, y'all, my memory went back to the episode of The Real where comedian Sherry Shepard was on there and she was sharing an embarrassing story about the fact that she dated Cat Williams too. Well, kinda. She didn't really date him, but he asked her on a date to go golfing and then he didn't even show up. Y'all, that was a messy story. I'll show you that clip real quick if you missed it. It was a, um, it was a, another comic and his name I should not mention. He's uh -huh. huge now. If I and, guess it, you gonna tell me? But we, he asked me to go out. He asked me if I wanted to go golfing. So I sat there all day and waited and waited. <gasps> what do you think it is? Yeah, and I can't believe he stood me up. I can't believe What is that? Why can't, it's right at the top. Oh, Chris it's Tucker! No, Chris no, Tucker, no, that's who I was thinking! Got Got married. It was not Chris who Tucker. Was, who was it? It wasn't Chris Tucker. Who? Cat Williams! It was, it was not, it, what? <laughs> I know oh, that! Oh, I, you <laughs> let Cat stand you up! Did you ever talk to him after? He act like he didn't stand you <gasps> up. So apparently, Cat Williams must like him a little thick, cause y'all know, Sherry Shepard and Lonnie Love are two beautiful plus size women. But it looked like he liked Miss Lonnie Love a little bit more, cause he gave it to her. And didn't even show up to the date with Sherry Shepard. Y'all, this is a mess. I bet you Sherry Shepard sitting somewhere like, really? When I was telling that story, you knew you did it with him. And you didn't even say nothing. That's probably why Lonnie was laughing so hard at that story. Probably thinking, ooh, he stood you up on that date? But he ain't stand me up, cause we was getting it in. So Lonnie Love wasn't lying. They be passing it around in that comedian game. Y'all, I can't with this, this is too much for me. Y'all, I'm done with this. I need y'all to comment y'all thoughts below on this mess. What do y'all think about Lonnie Love and Cat Williams getting it on back in the day? I need y'all to make me laugh in these comments. If y'all haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.